in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed do you know that the greatest asset any man has outside of eternal life is the advantage of time do not forget the realm of the spirit both demonic and of god agree that time is an important component in fact the most important component are we together now every other thing finds its value in time and with time that means when you lose time it doesn't matter what else you have you have failed when you meet a dying man he does not pray for more wisdom when you meet a dying man he does not pray for more prosperity the request of a dying man is time isaiah 38 give me time add time 15 years lose money but have time you will get it back in fact lose your credibility but have time you will get it back so the zenith of dominion is not dominion over spirits is dominion over time and when the devil wants to destroy a man he does something to your time so that time continues to pass with no corresponding achievements represented in it this is what we call delay this is what we call stagnation this is what we call retrogression i want you to listen the biblical proof of delay is when only your age is growing nothing else grows in your life only your age you just keep adding days but no corresponding achievements was it not your bible that said teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom what is the wisdom to redeem the time to walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise many of us right now culturally speaking or by reason of our background you started with time already against you you got born again late it took you many years to argue about the word of god and the ministry of the holy spirit finally you got filled with the holy spirit now you are 50 years 40 years 30 years 60 years probably and there is still a lot to be done there are two ways god helps men with respect to time number one is speed number two is restoration these are the forces of advantage allocated to help men gain time let me repeat again number one is speed number two is restoration restoration is god taking the events that should have happened and bringing it to your future to happen and i will restore the years it is not only things god restores he can restore years years of doing error in ministry you started ministry early but because of poor mentorship for 10 years you were doing a lot of rubbish now you got serious with god and discovered that you've wasted 10 years by that 10 years you would have had some level of establishment now now you have to start afresh again you don't need progress you need speed progress is forward movement speed is not just for you to move forward it is to gain the time you have lost and that grace must come on somebody this morning your bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah is that in your bible elijah did not have a chariot but the bible says he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab even down to jezreel number two the bible talks about jesus he left to a solitary place to pray and the bible says the disciples used the boat and they went ahead of him 
there were six hours ahead of jesus you would have called that delay but he got up from the place of prayer and he turned and started walking on water he walked on water and caught up with them they were even afraid they thought it was a ghost he said no be not afraid it is i peter said if it be thou let me step into that possibility too how come we're using boats and laboring and you just walk on water like that there are times you don't need the water to part you can walk on it some of you are supposed to have obtained this grace you've been praying forever for the river to pass and god says listen this river is not going to part walk on it the grace for speed number four the last of the many anointings you'll be receiving is the grace for signs and wonders i thought a bit on it yesterday you may want to get the teaching signs and wonders the supernatural the miraculous signs and wonders are beyond just healing no commanding possibilities over lives over territories it is a grace for signs and wonders that will make all men look for you not everyone is sick but everyone needs supernatural possibilities in their lives you can program a climate of favor over businessmen i didn't even add that one that is a very important one we can spend the whole day this grace for favor i didn't even add it you may add it as a fifth one because some of you that's why you came for this conference If you drop the grace for favor and you drop the grace for visibility for me i will pick favor do you know why <laughs> the number one reason people succeed in life is because of the favor of god the proof of favor is not money no that is a proof of wisdom that is a proof of skill the proof of favor is access to the hearts of men listen carefully when you you know the favor of god is at work in your life through the tripartite coexistence of unusual kindness unusual access and unusual acceptance don't forget this if this tripartite combo are not working in your life it is not favor when the favor of god is at work in a life i i remind you again unusual kindness unusual access an unusual acceptance we're going to pray I believe that Reverend Sam and his dear wife at the back of his heart is the desperate cry to see that by next year's advance that people come here with all kinds of testimonies and say Reverend Sam look what God used this conference to bring look the ministry that looked like nothing was happening that grace just came upon me grace for speed favor signs and wonders look what is now happening in my church i'm having the opportunity to become a blessing in a very very definite way i don't know if you've heard anything from all that i've said but in the next one minute i leave you with your maker cry from the depth of your heart remember that it is your hunger and thirst please cry from your heart man of god you are doing this for the sake of your congregation you are doing this for the sake of those your business people please pray i'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me i am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me yeah. Please make sure you pray. I am victorious. I have a 
overcome I am victorious I have overcome I am victorious Hallelujah Not too long ago I went to preach in a particular nation and when I got to that nation coincidentally our father in the Lord Baba Deboe also came to have a private meeting there and so I requested to just come and honor him and our mother and when I got there we, you know just cracked jokes and spoke and then I got down my knees and for the first time most times he would pray for me alone but this time around he was together with our mother and I will not tell you what they told me but I tell you the truth that if you receive that kind of blessing and prophecy upon your life you can go to bed it was it was from it was from the depth of his spirit and mommy was by his side and he released a blessing from his spirit man you see great men are made by secret experiences most of them don't share it but it does not mean it is not there there are many things that god has granted upon our heads that produce the things that we see if reverend sam should come up with his wife they would tell you striking moments where one thing after the other happened one thing after the other i remember one time i went to preach for a particular ministry and they kept me at the prayer city mfm and when I had finished preaching later in the night, when everybody had gone to sleep, protocol had gone, nobody to disturb me. I came out and I went to the prayer ground and I lay down there and I cried. I said, God, I thank you for a rich prayer life that you have given me. But there are people who have this as an office. May that grace rest upon my life. Hallelujah. I can tell you story upon story. Some of these people have gone to be with the Lord and so i have searched for those they imparted upon and say what did they tell you before they died i went to preach in a particular nation not too long it was an incredible meeting one of the highest they had had in many many years sixty-five thousand people and they told me they said one of the fathers of faith said the last time this happened was when morisorulo came and i was his interpreter i said daddy that means he prayed for you I never had the opportunity to meet him sadly but can you pray for me he said, ah great apostle i said no leave what happened on on the crusade ground what happened on the crusade ground is there please can you place something upon my head are we together i once met a group of widows all of them had lost their husbands they covenanted with themselves as a prayer group to keep praying for me that's all they do seven of them my god if these women pray for you seven of them successful people and i had the honor of meeting them and they were all happy wanting to kneel down i said i will not be that stupid i'm wise enough you've lost your husbands and you dedicated yourself to pray for me i will be stupid to stand there and do emoji i got down my knees i said as mothers from the bowels of your spirit pour out that blessing let it come from the depth of your heart I don't know how many times I may have shared it in this blessed church. My encounter with Ekiti, you know, the long life encounter. And I remember the high point of it was not the fact that the oldest man there prayed for me, but I remember the wife of the man who had died 136 years. And the wife was still alive. And I pleaded with her. Someone interpreted what I was saying. She only could speak Yoruba said please let this i don't know whether i'm a great grandchild now or whatever i will call i said please and the woman tapped me we entered a room and she was showing me the photos that was the husband of her youth and you know those days they married as teenagers and i said please whatever it is that was on him that has been on her can she release on me she said kneel down and she removed her shoes and placed her legs on the ground and for 15 minutes this woman was reigning would you call her a grandmother a great grandmother's blessings listen 
I want you to know that God did not put this meeting. This is beyond falling down and standing up. This is reprogramming a plethora of graces. Just resting on your life. And then to see what happens. Years ago, I was in Joss. I went to buy sugar cane. And then I saw two women, old women. And I decided to pay for them. They didn't have much, but I said, please, you are mothers. Let me just honor you. And they said, no, 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 no. I said, I insist. And I paid, it was not more than 100 naira. And the next thing, they looked at me and they began to bless this young boy. And one of the women looked at me. And she said, my son, forever walk upon gold. I don't believe those people were ordinary women. I don't believe that. So I don't know what dimension is deficient in your ministry. Open your mouth in one minute. You are lying down on a ground here. I'd like you to pray. Please cry from the depth of your heart. Cry to the God of heaven. Advance, pray, advance, pray, 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 pray. Just a few minutes and we're done. Shapeka to seka pada, embrente salakata vrakata pakatosh. Man of God, pray. Doors are about to be opened for you. Hallelujah. 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 It's a new season in ministry. It's a new season in ministry. Please pray one minute, don't be tired. Ancient Zion's King, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's King, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. 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 Let me speak over you. Now I'm going to pray over you. And when I do, a point is going to come when I will kindly invite Reverend Sam there is a grace upon his life that I sense in my spirit that you must have God has granted him unusual acceptance even among the Caucasians even across the nations of the earth and it is a grace that many people need even at this point in their lives but I want to pray for you I decree and declare right now the grace that drives a man to the secret place to hunger and seek for God take that grace now take that receive that grace right now that grace for the secret place 
let it come like fire let it burn everything that is not of God in the name of Jesus Christ number two I don't know what has hidden your glory hidden your destiny but I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic as one helped by God in the name of Jesus rise to be global rise to be global by the spirit of the living God receive the grace for visibility in the name of Jesus I break limits territorial limits cultural limits in the name of Jesus Christ help them please I call you out out of cultures I call you out I pull you prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ number three now hear me I want to release the grace for speed and many people will start running by the anointing you don't have to bring them out but just help them so they don't injure themselves in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and for every ministry every business here receive speed 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 up help them please help them speed I release that grace I release that mantle I release that grace I release that mantle I release that grace speed in ministry 10 years in one year one year in one month Halibara. You are the mighty God. Hey, I told you. You are the Halibara. You are the mighty God. One more time. Halibara. hallelujah I want to declare the favor of God upon you I don't know how people live without it Reverend Sam I don't know how people excel without the favor of God but I want you to believe me that when this mantle actually enters your life you will marvel and wonder at what begins to happen right now in the name of Jesus for as many whose hearts are open to receive I stretch my hands right now. Receive the grace for favor. Receive the grace for favor. Favor in the city. Favor in the country. Favor in Abuja. Favor in Lagos. Favor in Europe. Favor in America. Favor in the Caribbean. All over the globe. Receive it in the name of Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah now you're about to receive the last and then I'm done the grace for signs and wonders listen in an era of faking miracles telling lies state managing all kinds of things it is absolutely unnecessary when you carry this grace there are many of you right now who have the call of God upon your life it takes more than a message you will need the backing of heaven signs wonders manifestations of power I want to agree with you and then I'll ask Reverend Sam to come and I truly believe that he's going to declare that grace upon your life 
I don't know where you are. You may be a man of God, a prophet, an apostle. Signs and wonders will distinguish you. It can brand a man and put you in a class of relevance, even for the sake of his majesty. I'm praying right now. Maybe not for everybody, but for someone who has cried. Some of you have seen it in dreams. There will be a mighty outpouring right now. Father, I declare, at the count of three, please everyone shout Jesus and that grace rests upon you. Father, that you honor your word. Let there be mighty impartations for signs and wonders. Are you ready? At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. I activate the miraculous in ministry. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. You will be a woman of God with power and fire. You will be a man of God with power and fire. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Can I please invite Reverend Sam to just come up? From the rising of the sun to the setting. I can tell you in truth one of the graces and I've seen this grace at work in Reverend Sam's life God has granted him unusual access even among the Caucasians they are a very difficult people group to penetrate and God has granted him that grace and while I was here I just sensed in my spirit that he's going to make some declarations I know he will still come back up but I just want him to make that declaration please open up your heart and receive it Reverend Sam God has helped you God has opened these doors please can you declare over his people can I say something here whilst I was on my knees here that's very private I'm not gonna make that public as much as I honor the grace of God over the Apostle um, the Lord has told me something I must pursue in him and I will sow into that very strongly I'm going to do something I've never done I'm going to give at a level I've never done to anybody at this level because I know what the Lord has spoken to me and I know God has opened doors for me globally and all of that cross-culturally I know that and the apostle was the very first in this city after Pastor Kunle Shorinyo came and said, Pastor Sam, we recognize there's a grace on your life that has opened doors for you across the nations. And I said, I didn't even think about that. And then Apostle came and said, Pastor Sam, we've seen that grace on your life. And I must thank you, sir. I never knew that. And I sense in my spirit today, rather than just pray that the grace that is, I have a cry that it will not just be what I carry. We are all standing together. Can it be what we carry? Can I pray with you, joining my hands with the apostle, that there will be a double portion on your life? Apostle, may I just humbly? Can we pray together? This is the first time you are having this. And as we begin to pray, barriers will begin to break. People will begin to fall under the power of God because a double is coming on you. That's the power of God on your life. A double is coming on you. A double is coming on you. A double is coming on you. Man, God, that double is coming on you. Like fire. Gates are broken. Chains are destroyed. Chains are destroyed. Doors are shattered. Yokes are destroyed. We speak over your life. From today, your doors are open. I need some help on the monitor here. Your doors are open. Your gates are open. 
Paul the apostle said when I arrived at Troas a door was already open from today the doors of cities are open the doors of regions are open the doors of nations are open the doors of the hearts of men are open the doors of the hearts of kings are open from today we decree and declare be you lifted up ye everlasting doors be you lifted up all ye gates from today i decree the nations are open the nations are open the nations are open your doors are open every altar keeping your doors closed we shatter the altar we destroy the altar every word spoken over your life that has closed your doors we command the words overturn we command the words overturn your doors are open marital doors open ministry doors open business doors open career doors open i decree all doors open all doors open if you receive that shout your loudest aid. hallelujah now very quickly how many of you still have your request remember yesterday you were told to come please quickly ushers can you help us i have just about two minutes here okay i still see people waving this please if you have yours just wave it so that um you can pass it to the last person at the aisle. Can we do that very quickly? So that we'll wrap up. Please begin to pray in the spirit, everyone. In the name of Jesus. These Egyptians I see today. My God. I see them no more. Someone is praying. You're writing for your ministry. You're writing for your business. And for those who are following online. Make sure you connect. We're about to pray on the request now. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come please let the requests make their way here very quickly so that we pray hello madonna hello madonna hello madonna Hello, Madonna. Please still keep it lifted very quickly. Ushers, can you help us? Whether you or not you are an usher, just one person volunteer to help us pick it from them. Let's make it very snappy. Are you praying in the spirit already? I still see people at the there's a lady waving hands there please very quickly please just bring it forward hallelujah watch this please listen to me I had the honor to be in the prayer room of our father and the Lord daddy Gio and one of the requests when I got there i laid down the floor and one of the requests that i prayed on i said father i know that you have helped me but there are men you have helped whatever covenant you have or that of answered prayer that this man will just stand and say in jesus name may god bless you and then doors open i cried unto god from the depth of my heart and i believe that grace came on me from that day it was as if god bound himself with a covenant that when you pray hallelujah that that supernatural grace for answered prayers and i have watched god do wonders your ministry is a praying ministry your man of god is a man of prayer testimonies abound all across the globe as proof that prayer works and you are about to experience another dimension of the wonder working power of god we may not have the time to minister to people one-on-one. -on -one. We may not have the time to prophesy upon people. This is a minister's, a leadership conference. But 
we are going to pray and wherever you are i'm going to begin my prayer now so please those with the request will just use this as a point of contact while i pray i want you to stretch my hand your hands towards the altar and i want you to make declarations of faith i'm releasing my faith with the angel over this house reverend sam his dear wife the leadership and every man who has mounted this platform in the name of jesus to preach please if there are people outside can we have their requests also and we will say that you are good and all the miracles you've done has brought us joy and we are changed and all the hope we have we place in you right now stretch your hands as i pray i'd like you to begin to make declarations every mountain every challenge that has mocked god in your life some of you financial challenge some of you health terminal diseases some of you organizational issues please cry unto god something is about to break open in your life right now In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus yes Reverend Sam can you join me please let's just do this together now let me tell you the truth I want you to truly believe that God answers prayers and we bow our knees as men and women helped by God even over this you don't have to kneel but in the name of Jesus, I speak over this request. Every request here be turned to a testimony now. I repeat, every request here be turned to a testimony now. Hear me? Every helper of destiny who must arise. And see to it that these requests are answered. May God raise them. May God raise them. May God raise them. In the name of Jesus. Father, I join my faith with your servant. And I decree and declare from today. That the God who answers by fire. You will begin to answer every request here your heart's cry is answered in the name of jesus concerning your finances there is a mega shift from today concerning your ministry there is a turnaround from today concerning your child there is a turnaround in your child's life your womb is opened your womb is opened your womb is open by this same time next year according to the time of life you shall return with a child this reproach in your ministry is over the days of looking for a job those days are over you will move into a spacious office receive a mega job receive a great job in the name of jesus christ let barriers be shattered let limitations be driven back let curses be broken 
let patterns be destroyed let negativity be reversed you will handle evidence in your hands when the grace release on your life by the apostle from today you shall begin to command results begin to command results begin to command results evidence will enter your hands results will enter your house from today it will be surprise after surprise surprise will follow surprise it is done Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. One final word and I'm out. Please listen. While I was meditating in the morning, the Lord gave me a word. I decided to leave that word until we're here. And this is a word for someone and that someone could be even everybody. There is a growing need in the body of Christ to walk in integrity, consecration, and truthfulness. I must tell you this now while it looks like compromise is marketable i can tell you the end of every compromise has been predicted in scripture we cannot wrap up this meeting i know that we're talking to ministers but let me charge you by the message of god you need to begin to edit the kinds of association that you fraternize with it is a sacrifice for the sake the bible says all things are lawful but not all things are expedient there are many of us who clamor for attention. You want to be everywhere. I want you to love the people God has sent to you. And for their sake, make up your mind to do ministry correctly. The days of cutting corners are over. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to go around criticizing people, but you must have strong convictions. I'm saying this particularly to those who are in the prophetic and apostolic ministry. For God's sake, let us bring joy to the heart of the Father by doing ministry correctly. Because one person's reproach spills on everybody. Right now, when especially, you know, when people travel abroad, they look at any man, once they begin to suspect, it will take a longer time to be able to receive that which you carry because of the compromises of many people. Be comfortable where God has placed you and allow him lift you by growth. Praise the name of the Lord. So this is my final charge to everyone. Love the Lord with all your heart and insist that you will do ministry with integrity. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.